pictures, it's Rescal Puff TV, keeping it real and doing a fun little quiz for you guys while I am putting together and creating and editing something that's a bit more personal, so I just wanted to post something in the meantime, which is very exciting, if I do say so myself. So I thought today I would find out which member of the Car Jenner family I am. I obviously, we go to the most reliable source, BuzzFeed, and I've got a quiz ready. I'll link it in the description below. We're going to get straight into it. But before we do, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and stay up to date with all things Bad Girls DC and Biggie Smalls, who is still not pregnant. I'm still not sure how I feel about it, but yeah. I, it's seriously throwing me for a loop, that one, but if you want to know about that, go back and watch my last couple of girly chit chats and you'll know all about the ongoing saga I had and where I'm at with my dog's fertility. Cool. Okay, so let's just pull up our quiz. I need to make it like I need a quiz like intro music like doo -doo 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 -doo. I can't do I can't do music. I'm not very rhythmically I can't talk. I'm not very rhythmically child gifted. And not rhythmically gifted. Why is that so hard to say? Oh my god, look at her butt. Okay. So everyone is someone from Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Who are you? Um, this was created May 16, 2019. So I did try and find the most recent quiz I could find. Hopefully this is not too short a quiz. Otherwise, we may have to do another. If I don't like my answer, I'll do another. Let's be honest. That's another thing. I need to try and be honest in this. I need to... We all know which one I want to be. We all know who I'm trying to get. I'll give you a hint. Chris Jenner. I want to be Chris. I love Chris. I think she's she's everything. Like, she's so perfect. Chris is so stylish, so well put together, so age appropriate, such a smart business lady, self made, like, came from no business background and built an empire. Um, he's a firm negotiator. She doesn't give in when it comes to um, fighting for her daughters and fighting for, like, what they deserve and getting them amazing deals. Like, the contracts are ridiculous. Like, I love Chris so much like Kardashians is actually the one TV show I still watch like re like religiously like I, every week it's just finished the season but I would make sure I watch Kardashians Monday night every week um and I'm missing it like I'm having withdrawals that's probably why I'm doing this so yeah that's my number one I'll go through all the family members who I want what, I, what it means if you get them like in my mind because you care about what's happening in my mind that's why you're here so I think the next like best would probably be Kylie I think she's a billionaire, she's loved up with Trav, she's got a gorgeous little Stormy, um, got rid of Jordan, like nobody needed her, um, and she's just living her best life in her 10 Ferraris, 300 bathrobes, just being a mogul, and we love her, like she's so stunning, she's had such a glow up, she's honestly like, she is the reason I get my lips done, which I'm looking now, I'll probably do for a top up, but yeah, she's, she's someone who I have a lot of respect for, and let's just, anybody who is still riding the oh, what do the Kardashians even do train please get off now this is your station like because the fact that they've well and truly outstayed what many believed would be a very short like expression like period and people still care like even if you don't want to care you do pay attention and like what they've done is really like deserves like respect like for doing nothing like starting with having no like real talent that they were pushing like to them have built into this family to have maintained at most times grace and dignity and just like kept their heads held high during so many difficult like situations playing out in the public eye like um and to just stick together like the way they do the way they still love each other like i think it's like family goals like that's what i think like keeps the kardashians going like at the end of the day they can be doing the most ridiculous things having the most ridiculous fight but they always come back together and they really do have that like love for each other and that makes them relatable and it makes them like i think it's endearing and like, then they become people again rather than the Kardashian Jenner, like, idea of, like, superstar, like, that they have become, like, in celeb like, just, like, immense, like, level of celebrity that they have. So that's my opinion on the matter. I think they are. My butterfly fell down. I'm so sad. I love this one. Why you do that? Okay, I've got to chuck her back up. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You don't want to know. That, like, looks really bad. You're going to think I, like, shit myself. Like, no. I have an intimate piercing, not the PA, but similar region. So, I, something just tore, and it was not nice. It was not cute. Hopefully, I haven't done any permanent damage. Like, I think I just like 
I don't know. I don't even want to think about it. Let's just continue. I'm, I'm hopefully going to cut that part out. I'm probably not. Like, let's be honest. You've seen my other videos. You have binge after this. Um, but yeah, now there's something you know about me that you didn't know before. Sharing secrets. It's what best friends do. So, anyway, these straps are not as fun as I thought they were going to be. They're so freaking annoying. They don't stay up. I'm so over this outfit. I'm, like, wanting to do an outfit change. I've already, like, wasted so much time. Like, I've been filming this for, like, 10 minutes. When I edit so much of this shit out, it's going to be a lot shorter. But, like, I haven't even got to the quiz. What is wrong with me? Everything, clearly. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Let's call a spade a spade. Oh, my God. Like, I am going off mr pop you love like call me darren hayes so anyway where were we i need to stop being like this i'm so sorry like i embarrass myself most times like biggie's just sitting over like judging my judge judge over there i don't blame her and it's always either me or her acting up one of us has to do something stupid and oh no oh no Hold on. A few moments later. Okay, so that was embarrassing. And I'm. Hmm. I don't want to spunk. Stevie, mind on the job. Like, put down grinder. Okay. So, why do hotties. Oh my god! Wowza! They want to get in my trouser. Oh my god, I made a snake called Trouser. It was like a Britney, like, like, like albino type of, type of python and i've got to get like a britney costume together so i can get a photo with it like i'm like literally so dead set about this it's going to be iconic you know what i mean you know what i'm saying i think you do okay so back to the car gems sorry about all my interruptions sorry about my scatterbrain sorry about my no i did not say scatterbrain mind out of the toilet um but yeah let's move on so yeah as i said getting kylie is the next best i would say kim is probably the next best option like she's fucking a bad bitch like we all love kim like she the family are like kind of like getting into the public eye on her really like let's be honest like you know so like she's got to be like up there i just slightly just i think kylie's just surpassed her like in like the popularity and in terms of like being a bad bitch but like kim is also a bad bitch like she's gotten so much bad up in recent years she's not taking herself so seriously she's actually just like you know loving life living her best life with her husband who like loves her so much and she loves him and she's his right or die and it's so beautiful to watch and like got the most beautiful family and she even changed like wendy williams opinion of her so like that was a big thing because wendy williams like hated that family and then she went and spent time with them, and they've won her over, like, so, you know, I think that says a lot, because Wendy Williams comes across as a bit of a meow, bitch. Whoa. Sorry, Wendy, don't come for me. Um, anyway, yeah, like, so next after her, I would say, would probably be... I would probably put Chloe and Kendall on, like, the same level, because if you're Kendall, you're boring as fuck, but you're, like, stunning. If you And you're probably a lesbian. If, you, if you're Chloe, like, you're funny, you've got a good body now, your face has changed a lot, just saying. That's not contrary, just saying. Um, but you just keep picking douchebags and, like, getting hurt, and it's not nice, and we don't like to see it, but, like, stop picking basketball players. I know they're, like, you're a tall gal and they need to be tall to, like, be taller than you, but, like, maybe try taking two men, like, one standing on top of the other one's shoulders, like, that could work. Oh, no, then that's kind of you cheating on them. Like, God knows you deserve to, like, get some back. Like, no, you're not that person, you're not. Like, you wouldn't do that, you love so hard. I love you, Chloe. Like, you go go um oh my freaking god can people stop when i'm like trying to be doing this vid and they're just trying to be in my biz you know like get out of my biz like plenty of time later so then i would say it would be courtney because boring as fuck but like fun like no not even boring like she's like she used to be fun and bitchy and like say sassy things in her deadpan voice but now she's just like my therapist like oh my god scott if he's in there he's way up like scott is like above chloe and and Kendall, because he's like this like father of the year, had the biggest transformation, so much you are so beautiful. I love Scott. Like he's literally I'm oh oh my god, like Kim, cute, right? Um so yeah. And then Rob obviously coming in last. Stormy's definitely above him. Um all of Kim's kids are above all of the kids actually sit above Chloe and Courtney's Chloe and Kendall's level, you know, like I think I'm gonna have to draw up a map of this like ranking ladder maybe. Caitlyn doesn't make the cut, like, get out, like, nobody wants you, you did this to yourself, you exiled yourself, honey. But yeah, like, I think that's all we need to go, we don't need to bring in Brody Jenner, we don't need to bring in, like, the other, Brandon's wife, whatever her name was, Leah, she wanted to be a thing so hard, not a thing, like, um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop with the nonsense, I'm gonna get into our quiz, I'm gonna, like, turn my phone into silence so we can stop hearing, like, how many boys are trying to get into my coochie. You're still gonna hear the vibrate, aren't you? Oh my god, like, it's so ugly. Not the person, like, it's a bag that someone's trying to sell to me. Sorry, I've never even heard of, like, this brand. Like, 
sorry, I'm gonna look this up quickly. I think it's a knockoff Armani. Like, I might be dumb here, I might be wrong, but have you ever heard of a Marnie bag? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's, um, M-A-R-N-I. Marnie handbags, okay. I don't know, they are, like, a thing. Too bad the bag's ugly. Like, it's like up to 70% off on, like, all these stores, all of them. Like, they must be, like, shit. Oh, they make earrings as well, that's why. Like, they're not just, like, a bag brand. They are expensive, but, like, I just don't think I like it. Oh my god, they've got a cute brown vinyl skirt. That's fun. Mm. It's a really small bag. I need a big bag at the moment. Like, that's the thing. Like, if it was, like, the right bag, I would have said yes, probably. Like, but you don't care, do you? No. So, yeah, like, BCW girls. I'm in the market for a new everyday bag. Big enough to carry, you know, some stuff in, like, but, like, not too big because I'm, like, I don't want, like, the, like, big Louis Vuitton never full, like, keep whole thing. Like, that's too much. Like, I don't want to, like, have a workout every time I pick up my bag. But I do want it to be, you know, decent. I like, like, the Balenciaga kind of shape, you know. If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below because girls got to eat. So, anyway, back to our quiz now that we've established that I'm not being ripped off. But if, if I don't buy it, like, it's just like, you know, you, don't, you can't trust everyone. So it's good to just double check. And Google's, Google is your best friend. There is no reason to be, like, ill-informed now that we have Google. Like, you don't even have to ask embarrassing questions. You just type it in, you know the answer. Like, you're welcome for that tip. You can use it. Please feel free to use it because there's some things people just need to, like, find the answer themselves. Because I know I ask them hella stupid questions. Like, when people say there's no such thing as a stupid question, like, there is. And I ask a lot. I can't even think of an example. I'm going to try and put together a list and make a video of stupid things I've asked. Oh, can you legally change your birthday? Yep. Oh, Bobby. 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 You're dreaming. You're just having a bad dream. It's okay. I love you. I love you, Bobby. She was having a nightmare. Probably just induced from my voice. <laughs> like, she's over me. I don't know why I went to turn the camera off then, like, I haven't even started the quiz. Okay, do you care about what others think of you? Everyone has to love me. Not at all. I don't care as long as I'm successful. I prefer they like me, but that's not my problem. I would prefer they like me, but that's not my problem. Like, I think it used to be everyone has to love me, but I really, like, I didn't know this quiz was going to be so deep. Like, recently, like, you know, I've been, like, really just trying to remember that I can't look after anybody else if I don't look after myself first. And sometimes that means you've got to be selfish and just focus on you. Don't intentionally hurt people around you, or anyone, for that matter, but do what's right for you at the end of the day. What's your dream vacation? Anywhere with the fam? Whatever's most expensive. I'm cool with anything tropical. I'm happy when everyone else is happy. Like, I would love to- No, that's a lie. I'd love to go away with certain members of my family. Not all of them, so like, whatever's most expensive doesn't interest me. Cool with anything tropical? Yeah, I guess I want to wear next to nothing. Like, I'm happy when everyone else is happy. Maybe, but like, I don't know, like, I just don't really like the beach that much, but I'm just gonna say anything tropical, I don't have to go into the ocean, it's cool. Like, we can just wear cute bikinis all day, every day. Would you wear the same outfit twice? Only if that becomes the next trend. Ew, in the same week? That's not classy. Um, I don't think any of those answers are different, really. Um, I'm probably gonna say, like, in the same week, like, I would definitely do it, I repeat the outfits all the time, I have my favourite pieces, I have, like, things that, like, you know, I can't not wear, like, I don't get the whole wear of something once, if you love it, wear it, like, I guess, if you can afford to never have to wear anything twice, but, like, don't you just have pieces you love, I guess mix them differently, coordinate, like, chop, change, like, put together, different purse, different outfit, like, you know, but, like, who cares, really, like, when there's so much poverty in the world, that's the least of your concerns, really, it should be, like, coming to someone who has way too many clothes, I know that's a bit hypocritical, but, like, like, there are bigger things in the world, you know? Would you rather be alone or with people? I like to chill with friends with them. I'm the life of the party. I do my own thing. I always make time for my loved ones. I would say I do my own thing. Like, I'm very... I never used to be. I used to constantly... I, up until I was, like, 21, 22... Yeah, about 21, I had never spent a second alone. Like, I was always with someone. Like, I was, grew up in a family of six kids. I was always with my friends. I, you know, like, I just never... Then I lived with friends. I lived with a boyfriend. And when me and my second boyfriend broke up, I was alone a lot. Like, I had a housemate, like, a girl he used to work with. But that was awkward. We didn't really get along that well. She was annoying. Like, shout out to Laws if you're watching. Miss Three Legs the most. That was her dog, Three Legged Dog. <laughs> Three Legged Dog that bit me for, like, accidentally getting a bandana stuck on a stump. Like, good times, right? Um... So, hey, Biggie, you need to kind of, you've got four legs because you're a real dog. She's gonna come up. She's gonna do it. Up. Hey. Oh, you're on my hair. It's not even my hair. Like, she's not upstairs. Hey, baby. Oh, you no know, biting plants. Sit down. Bubba, you do this every time. Down. Lay down so you can see me. It's not nice of you to block me. Biggie, lay. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Okay. Yeah, so, like, um, then I started having to be alone a lot. I didn't like it. But as I get older, and, like, as I, like, just mature and come to more 
being a place where I love myself a lot more and I don't mind my own company, it's become something that to me is so important to be alone and have my alone time and that's why I live alone except for this one. Um, and that's why I can't see myself ever living with someone again, like even if I was in a relationship, like which I don't think would ha is going to happen again. I can't imagine ever living with someone, I'd always want to have my own house. That might be weird, but like, you know, modern families, we don't have to do things the same way that everyone does. So I'm like, find what works for you. Like, you do you doll. That was me, that's so Kardashian me. Like, cute, I'm already becoming them. Um, so I do my own thing. Do you do your hair and makeup every day? I wake up perfect. Depends on the day. Yeah, it's basically my religion. Duh. Yeah, it's basically my religion and duh, the same answer. Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Like, which one do I choose? Like, I'm gonna say like, yes, it's basically my religion. What would you say to your haters? Thank you for the feedback. I really don't care what you think. I'm calling my lawyers. Say it to my bank account. <laughs> not that one. Because <laughs> my bank account is not hefty. Um, I guess, like, you know, it depends what the hate is. If it's constructive, thank you for your feedback. Like, let me know. I will fix, I will work on myself. I'm not afraid to, like, develop and grow as a person. Like, that is so not who I am. Like, I'm always wanting to be. I always think you can be better, like, in, like, you know, like, why would you want to not know if there's something you're doing that's really, like, an issue for people that is actually, like, something that can be changed and, like, isn't just people being rude and nasty. Then, yeah, like, I do care. Like, I want to change. But if it's just someone, like, being like, you look fat, like, shut up no i don't um so it's a toss up between those two um haters look if i was in the position of a kardashian i would probably ha not be able to help but read the hate like i'm not gonna lie like i know it apparently it destroys you i've had a little taste of it when i was on tiktok for a hot minute and had people with quite strong opinions on me um shout out if you want me to go through my old account and find some hate comments to like read out on as a video because that'd be interesting like there was some really brutal shit like like really really brutal um that might actually be interesting. I might look into that. Let me know if you want to see that. Um, so thank you for the feedback, I guess. But I'd say it in a sarcastic voice, like, thank you for the feedback. That's not sarcastic. That's not how I'd say it. I'd say it differently than that. Like, I'll practice. I'll, I'll work on it. Okay, I'll get back to you. Dress nice or casual? And even mixture of both. I don't have time to be casual. Casual isn't in my vocabulary. Nice, 24-7. I'd say maybe a mix of both. Like, my nice is, like, not really nice, though. Like, I'm always kind of casual, I guess. Like, especially now, I always wear, like, leggings and trackies and... Like, I don't really dress nice ever, do I? Um, I'm such a slob, I guess, like... I guess I'm... Like, none of them are just, like, I dress sloppy all the time. Like, so I guess an even mixture of both just because it doesn't let me dress sloppy, which is kind of silly. How much time do you spend on your phone? 24-7, 5 hours max. I only use it to take occasional calls and texts. If I could marry my phone, I would. 24-7. How do you feel when you see other people being successful? I try to top it. <laughs> I do love topping. I'm happy for them. I'll secretly plot to destroy them. Throw them a party. Throw them a party where I plot to destroy them. Can you select who? Like, push them down the stairs and they can't run the company. Um, like... I don't necessarily try to top it, like, I, I'm happy for them, like, honestly, I'm happy for them, like, if I can't get success for doing whatever I want to do, like, why be jealous of someone else? It just means I'm not doing the right thing, I'm not, like, find your own lane and excel, no one else can top you at what you're meant to be doing, like, you know, you've just got to find it, and, like, that's hard, but, like, keep working until you get it, you know, hustle, baby. How do you react to failure? <laughs> Ask someone for help, ugly cry, learn from my mistakes, I don't fail. Um, I used to definitely ugly cry a lot. Like, I don't really ask anyone for help. I don't learn from my mistakes. Like, I cry, but like, let's be honest, I mean, we all make the same thing ten times, like, so I'm a slow learner if that's the case. I don't fail. I get, I would say I ugly cry still, like, I get very overwhelmed by, like, when I can't work things out. And, I, and then I internalize, and I like to do everything myself. I don't like to accept help at all. In an argu <laughs> argument, you tend to win, compromise, cry, but I don't get my way, give up. Depends on what's weird, if it's with my ex, I cry, and I give up. With a lot of people, I will. It's not so much giving up, it's just realizing that they're too stupid to understand, <laughs> you know? Like, some, you can't argue with someone who doesn't have the ability to see things clearly from multiple perspectives, or the intelligence to see that they could be wrong, or that they're not necessarily right or wrong, or there's a gray area, like, so there's so many variables there, but I'd say I usually probably would just give up and just, like, know that I'm right, and bitch to everybody behind their backs about how dumb they are. What's your favorite color? Pink, yellow, red, black. It used to be yellow, but it is pink now. I got Kylie. Christmas on the bean in it, okay? Like, love it about Chris. Um, you know how to draw people's attention. You do what you want, what you can to get people to like and follow you. You're not afraid to put yourself out there and express yourself, whether it means changing your hair color constantly or creating your own makeup line. You'll always find the spotlight. So true. So, as you can see, I took that really seriously. Like, I like thought through my answers. I gave them to you hot. Like, I reasoned, I told you my logic. Like, anything I was umming and ahhing, we, you know, worked it out together. Like, I talked it through you guys, you were my sounding board, not my sounding rod. Um, and I don't think I need to do a second quiz, because I got the answer I wanted. <laughs> like, but, um, yeah, let me know which Kardashian you think you are, or, like, as I've said before, any of quizzes or anything you want me to find, or if you've got one to do, like, link it, like, and I'll get on that for you bitches. Like, I'm here for you. Um, as I said, remember to like this video, subscribe, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm basically Kylie, so I'm on my way to a billion, baby. Let's get this happen. Um, 
my next video hopefully should be something really exciting um well it's exciting for me and like it's not exciting for those who follow me on my other social media channels which are all gonna be linked below but if you only follow me following me on youtube i've been keeping a few things from you and they're kind of big but find out in the next video or go to my socials and find out there you do you boo love you hey bad bitches i have a great idea you should go subscribe to my channel and binge watch my videos. Go on, treat yourself. Please, please, please. No pressure though. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Trust me. I'm worth it. Makes sense. Great idea. YOLO. I'm down. Sounds like a plan. See you soon. Bye.